Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching us how to send emails from your Zoho mail using your Gmail. So in a case where you use both your Zoho mail and your Gmail, you want to be able to connect your Zoho mail to your Gmail, whether to receive Zoho mail or your Gmail account, or to be able to send a mail using your Zoho mail from your Gmail account. So we are going to be we are going to be um, looking at those two scenarios together, and I'm going to be walking you through. So let's look at the first one, how to what to receive um, mails, right? How to receive mails. You want to receive your Zoom mail or your Gmail account or your personal Gmail account or business Gmail account. You want to, you want to be able to do that. All right. So we are going to come to our settings. Is that the right um, top corner here? That's on your Zoom mail. You come to your settings and you will scroll down. Okay. You scroll down and you find mail account. The moment you see the mail account, can you see mail account? All right. Now we want to go down and we'll see add email forwarding. Add email forwarding. So in this case, I'm just going to go, okay, I have done mine. It's just to verify. So let me just delete it and just start all over again for a sake. So we have my email. That's my Gmail account. So, okay uh just so fast okay just um, all right so the moment you the moment you type in your email you just you just have to click on your enter button on your enter button the moment you click on enter it said email forwarding has been added verify to start so verify all we need to do now is just to go to our gmail so let's go to our gmail all right on our gmail a verification code has been sent already uh, where's my verification code okay thank you a verification code has been sent already so we can see these are verification code there which is confirmation code make sure you copy it well because if you don't if there's a space there it's not going to um verify so a verification code, I copy and then paste it here, copy and paste, then confirm. So it should go, it should. So he's saying that incorrect confirmation code. So there must be something wrong somewhere. I'm just going to do it again. All right, let me just go over it again. Uh, uh, all right. Let me see if it, it's actually the verification code that is sent. Because it is, it is. All right. Let me just do that again. Uh, so we have this. And paste it again. So let's see. If it is not properly copied and you paste it, it's not going to go. So you have to you have to copy it well. So you can see that when um we receive a Zoho mail, automatically it reflects in our Gmail. It reflects in our Gmail. So the second scenario we want to look at is how you can you know you want to send, for example, you want to send emails or you want to send emails from your Zoho mail account using your Gmail account. So that's the second thing we want to because we've done the first step in you receiving you know mails that is sent to your Gmail and you want them to reflect, I mean, that is sent to your Zoho mail and you want them to reflect in your Gmail. But secondly, we want to be able to send Zoho mails, right? We want to be able to send mails using our Zoho mail account from our Gmail. So how do we do that? So let's go to our Gmail. Let's go to our Gmail. In our, on our Gmail, we're also going to go to settings. So our settings, just like our Zoho mail, will be on the right top corner. you see the settings button and once you go to settings you see this is just limited you go to see all settings see all settings and after that you just go to account and import you see general you see labels you see inbox and you see account and inbox i mean account and import so send mail as send mail as what so use gmail to send mail from your other mail address so we just click on add email what did he say add email address so i'm just going to go ahead to 
add my username, your Zoho mail username, right? So you can just add something. Let me just, let me see. All right, uh, this is my Zoho mail. You click on next step. All right. In this case, you click, you add, you add your SMTP server code smtp server right and your port now i'm going to be showing you after this screen i don't just want to i don't want to forfeit it because if i do that if i if i go away from this screen it's going to take away this one so let me just quickly finish with this so i'm going to show you how you can get that your smtp server right right from your zoom i'm going to be showing you that and how to know what port to pick p or rt what port to pick so what is your username my username in this case, which should also be in your case, should be your Zoho mail. Should be your Zoho mail. So what is your password? So I'm just going to go ahead to type in my password. Uh, uh, if you type in your password or your username is not correct, it's not going to go. I see. So we have, so don't let me save it and just save it so can you look at this um instruction can you look at it and so it's saying that congratulations we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials just one more step or just one more step it now says that an email with a confirmation link has been sent to what your zoho mail right so we have an access to add your email address click on the link of the confirmation Click on the link in the confirmation email. So what's that confirmation email? Confirmation email in this case would be Azomio. So let's go right then to Azomio. All right. So just like I said, you know, we're talking about how to how to get um how to be able to get how we can be able to get so how we are we are able to get our smtp so guys see smtp server so let's just go up we'll see out so this is what you are going to copy <clears throat> as your smtp server smtpp.zoho.com and this is your port which is four six five the moment you click on that drop down for your port you are going to see four six five five something so you just click on four six five so you just copy this as a your smtp server so let's go ahead to confirm our mail so we're just going to cancel this and see that a confirmation has been sent a confirmation has been sent so he's saying that you have requested to add yourself um to your gmail blah 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 and all that and all that um before you can send email using your gmail um account please click on the link to confirm this request so we click on this link and there we go we click on confirm and you see it's that easy you click on confirm and the moment you click on confirm you are able to. so let's look at it from here so let's see if it has actually worked out so we need to go back to our gmail right and let's just uh it's already so let's just next step why is it so let's verify it uh let's put in our password again so change this uh so we can see that it's verified already can see so we verified it don't forget we verified it from our zoom mail and come to our gmail to also verify it so it's that simple and that is so you can see email is sent through blah 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 secured connection and all that reply so when replying to messages replying reply with um the same address um the same address the message was sent to you know always reply with the default and all that so that is how you can send so can we just do it maybe we should just do a text 
a test um, transaction, something. So can you see what? So I want to be able to send email now. So it's going to give me a drop down. <laughs> it's going to give me a drop down. The drop down is that am I do I want to send email from my Gmail account using my Zoho mail? Yes. The moment I click this, I'm able to send successfully. So thank you so much for staying through. Make sure you follow us for more um remain dreaded consulting. Thank you.